Boys, it's me, Tubi, and hope everybody's having that day. You know that kind of day where everything just feels right? Yeah, I hope you're all having that day. Speaking of days, I'm going to tell you guys about a day in my life that really happened. So stay tuned, get your popcorn popping, let's get it. Alright, so let me paint the picture. 14 year old Tubi is sitting at home watching the Spongebob marathon in the middle of summer when he gets a suspicious text. Who could this be, he asks. Turns up his phone, turns it on rather, checks the phone. Oh, would you look at that? It's my little cousin Cherkov. Now I'm not going to use his real name for obvious reasons, but little Cherkov's doing the same thing as me, watching the Spongebob marathon, chilling at home, wishing he could be doing something else. So what does he want to do? He wants to come over, hang out with his older cousin, play some Call of Duty, slay some zombies in the process, do something better than lounge around at home wasting an entire day of your life. Now keep in mind, he doesn't have a PS3 where he can play online with me, so he needs to come over to play. So what do I say? Obviously I agree. I tell him to come on over. I go and let my parents know he's coming over. Everybody's excited. We're all happy. We're going to have a nice night. It's not going to be a boring waste of time. So about 20 minutes later he arrives, we get everything set up, he brought his controller, we got pop from the fridge, chips from the cupboard, we down, we ready to game out, we got the music popping off, eager smiles on the faces of many, so we start, not even 5 minutes in, we hear a knock at the door, once again, who could this be, open the door, it's my mom, what does she say, kids? You guys need to go outside for a little bit, it's a nice day outside, so you guys gotta go over to the park and play or something before you guys game out. I want you guys to be gone for at least a few hours. Now isn't this like every teenager slash kid's pet peeve, is when you're ready? See what I mean? Every single time. I'm trying to record a video for you guys, bring you guys some content. What happens? Somebody's knocking at the door and trying to fucking tell me to do shit. Anyways, we go outside because we have to. My mom tells us we have to be out there for two hours, so to waste time, we go and walk over to the park. We sit on the swings peacefully, we're not harming anybody. We're sitting on the swings, waiting for these two hours to pass so that we can go inside and continue playing our game. As we're sitting there peacefully, waiting for the time to pass, a handful of rocks is thrown at the side of my face and s like you feel every pebble smoke the side of my face keep in mind it's one of those parks where like the ground is all pebbles on the playground and when you stop on the swings it's like <sighs> you know what I mean anyways a handful of rocks is thrown at the side of my face I look over and who threw the rocks at my face it's a little kid maybe about six seven I don't know eight years old maybe at the max He's a young kid, and for no reason at all, he just throws rocks at my face. Look right at my face, dude. Why my face? Why this thing right here? Why couldn't he just throw it at my back or something? And he didn't just throw a little bit of rocks. He threw a big handful. It hit my face. It hit Cherkov's face. It hit my brother's face. It hit all of us. Like, a lot of faces were harmed on this day. Anyways, I look over, like... What the hell did you just do that for? This kid stares at me. You know how like kids put their head down and they like leave you those evil demon eyes and you just stared at me with his fists balled up and he's just like, fuck you guys. I'm like, Jesus. Like literally, I was just like, what? Like, th whose kid is this? Looked around, there's no parents around. He's literally the only kid there. Sitting there, sandals off, and he had those nasty ass flip flops, by the way, where like the toes were like hanging off their shits. Anyways, he's sitting there, fist balled, demonized. What do I do? I do what anybody else would do. There's a little kid, eight years old, that just threw rocks at my face. I go out into the middle of the field and I just, I move away from him. I don't want any problems. This kid obviously has problems. I'm not, I'm not gonna be a part of this. I don't wanna be in this. I'm not in this. So now we're in the middle of the field, just waiting for the time to pass. There's about an hour left. We've been there for an hour. The kid went to the other side of the school. He was gone, so we thought. As we're laying there, the kid comes back again, and he yells at the top of his lungs, Fuck you guys! And then he grabs two handfuls of rocks this time, runs up to us, whips them at our faces again, 
and then tries to run away. And says, you guys are pussies. Like, wow, this kid has a melt. He's eight years old. Where'd you learn this? Now the kid's running back to the playground. He picks up legit rocks now, not even pebbles, and he starts throwing them at us. He misses all of them. But now we're mad. Now we're like, okay, dude, like, we're done. Like, we start to walk away, we turn our backs, we're gonna walk home, and we're just gonna tell our parents that, you know, what happened. The kid runs after us again. This time, on Cherkov, on my cousin, he jumps on his back, puts him in a chokehold, and bites his neck. Like, what the heck? This kid is literally a demon child. Literally demon spawn. Now at this point, my cousin's got a teeth marks in his neck, he's bleeding, and this kid keeps coming after him. Now, I wouldn't do this to a kid ever, but this kid was vicious and he was trying to hurt him for some unknown reason. He's hurting, he can't even move his arm right now, and he's about to jump on his back again. So I grab the kid and I throw him, I throw him across the field, he was like starfish in the air and he hits the ground and he's done I'm pretty sure he's done I'm like hey stay the fuck away from us and now we start to walk away the kid he just gets right back up again he starts running after us and now we're running circles around the field trying not to let him catch us now my brother we brought a football actually we were gonna play football but it was too hot that day so he grabs the football <laughs> And he just winds up, and he throws the football at the back of the kid's head, and it smokes his head. And the kid's like, ow! And then he kind of starts to walk away, because that really hurt. Like, my brother smoked that at his head. So then, that's not enough. The kid starts to go grab rocks again. Now I'm just like, okay, fuck this kid. We're done here. I run over to where his sandals were. I pick the sandals up, I'm like, guys, run! We start to run down the field. We run across the field up to the street. Now we're running down the street as fast as we can. <laughs> that kid is yelling at us saying, give my sandals back, give them back, you pussies. Come back here, I'm gonna tell my mom. And we're like, shit, dude. And then we just keep running, we don't stop. We're like halfway to my house. I get his sandals. I stuffed them inside of the tree. There's this random tree, and I stuffed them in there. And we just run all the way back to the house nonstop. We're not letting this kid catch up to us again. We're not letting his parents see us. We are just running away. So now we're back at the house. My parents see the bite marks, and they want to go back to the field and talk to the parents. But we were like, it's probably not a good idea. We stole his sandals. But still, at the same time, that kid deserved it. He was vicious as fuck. There was nothing that we could have did except for what we did to stop him from biting us, from throwing rocks at us. That kid was, that was a demon guys. That's like the definition of a demon child. So at least we got a revenge. We ran away. And we got a nice night of playing zombies, gaming out. Although my cousin's neck still had teeth marks in it. I don't know if he still has scars today. I never asked him. But, that is today's story. This demon child was trying to fuck our day up. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this story. That is a real story. It happened. I was there. I'm a witness. Alright? <laughs> Anyways, hope everybody's having that day still. And boys, until next time.